All right, we're back talking about the Nordic fashion. Um, now, remember what I said with Polania. If you watch that video, first thing you look at when you have a wood in your center where your starting workers are is can I get a building in the first three turns of the game? Again, we're just playing with the industrial board, so yes, yes, you can with this one. Trade, then produce, then move. So first priority, first thing you look for is can I get a mill? Next thing is where do I want to put the mill? Now Nordic is one of the things that makes them unique and one of the things that makes them actually particularly powerful is if you can get the mill in the first three turns of the game and say you have industrial, you can put the mill on the mountain. <coughs> Putting a mill on the mountain is completely unique to them. Polania can't do it. They have no mountain in their starting zone. Um, even the expansion factions can't do it. So having a mill on the mountain is unique to you and very, very powerful. This means that when you move this here and this here, and you put a mill here, you're actually going to be getting up to five workers and getting a lot of steel. This steel will help you get four mechs out and it will help you to get your speed mech out very, very easily on any board. So you get your, you get your five workers, you get your speed mech out. Um, even if you don't actually end up getting a mill, usually it is best to take your first move action to move on to steel and move on to this village. And we'll cover why really that is in just a second. Um, Know that getting onto the steel is important to making sure that you can get not only your first mech but your second mech, which is um, vital to your early game. This village is better than this village. Like, you don't want to do this and this. Notably, because Rust Fate is going to want both of these farms. So, if there's a Rust Fate player in the game, moving here and here, or sorry, here and here, is going to make you have no access to food in the game. So that's no good. So you want to move here and here. <clears throat> this way you don't immediately lose the game. You're going to get up to five workers, you're going to deploy your speed mech. And you're going to split onto food and onto oil. <clears throat> because generally you're already on steel and steel is still useful but getting onto oil means you can get onto steel later or even onto wood. Um, <clears throat> assuming you had a mill, you're actually going to have a chance to get your um, submerge mech, or seaworthy mech, which will allow you to actually move from here with your speed mech. But as you spread your workers, you're going to pick up your encounter as usual from here with your second mech onto the factory if you want. This is not necessary with Nords. So you don't have any particular reason to really need the factory. Um, but it's not a bad thing to have access to. What are the strengths of Nords? Well, besides the fact that we talked about getting a mill on a mountain is unique to their faction and very, very good. The other strengths of Nords are versatility. Versatility in your starting resource. <coughs> Almost every time it's going to be right to go onto the mountain, but there are some occasional times where you're just going to be like, okay, I'm just going to have to force my first mech out and getting future mechs is just going to be a huge pain in the ass and it's just not worth it. In which case you can do like mill here or mill here, probably on the wood, um, and move over onto wood and move over onto the village and suddenly you have a worker on village and wood which is another pretty strong combination. Um, basically, you can start a worker on any sort of two combinations of tiles that you want before you start your production, as long as you're at one village. Again, these farms aren't yours if Rustrade is in the game. If Albania is in the game, this farm isn't yours. If both of them are in the game, you have no farms and you are fucked. Um, but what you're going to want to do if both your neighbors are in this game is take this farm um, 
and hope to God that Red doesn't get to it first or that they don't want to contest you for it. <clears throat> That's really all you can do. You don't want to take this farm because Red definitely wants this farm, but we'll cover that in our Rust Fade video. So this one is technically the safer one and the more they're more willing to give this one up than they are to give this one up. But if you have both neighbors in the game, really good luck to you. Um, I wish you all the best. Like if Red gets out here and out here, as you're still getting up to five workers, which is probably going to happen, then they can immediately, because they know you're going to want to take this farm, you have no access with any mech to doing anything but moving to here and trying to start getting food. Well, Red can suddenly say, okay, I'm going to take the hit. I know you're about to attack me and I can't really afford to give up this farm. I'm going to move my mech here. And then all four of your workers are kicked before you have a mech out. And then suddenly you're going to have to individually move them off because he didn't have a mech and your game is fucked. It's absolutely screwed. So, yeah, I hope you don't have both neighbors in your game as Nords because otherwise you're going to have a hard time. Or I hope if you do have two neighbors that red like just gets a speed mech first and then just prioritizes these, then you have a chance. Then you can take this farm. What are your weaknesses as Nords? Well, assuming you didn't watch my Saxony video, you have to be careful about this spot. This spot again is vulnerable to Saxony swooping in from here to here and picking up whatever resources are just lying around on here. Um, sometimes that's okay for you, and sometimes it's pretty bad for you. Other weaknesses, it's very difficult to get your um, character off of the mainland. Your river walk is probably the weakest in the game, and that is moving only to here. It's really, really bad. Considering you don't have any other strong mobility options, like you can't really swoop in as fast as uh, Saxony can to punish mistakes, so you don't do that particularly well. Though you can do that. Like, your Riverwalk is the same as Saxony's Riverwalk, except Saxony has availability to not only go here, but with their underpass mech, they can sweep in in one turn and start picking up resources from these three tiles. Um, so their river walk is the same tiles, but it's in a different format because it allows them to do things that they otherwise could not do. Your river walk is the same as Saxony's, so you can still exploit these tiles, but you need to already be on a tunnel, i.e. you can't just be in your base or be on some random ass mountain anywhere. Um, and go grab those resources, you need to be on a tunnel. But you can move from the tunnel onto this mountain or this forest, or even this mountain on Saxony. But doing so is generally uh, going to be a bit slow for you because you're going to have to uh, get river walk uh, and get speed, which means you are probably on three max. Also, tunnels are contested areas that you can't fight for nearly as well as Saxony. So you can play a bad Saxony role if they aren't in the game and try to exploit these, these tiles. But if Saxony is in the game, I generally avoid it. Um, and typically, Riverwalk isn't a priority because it only allows you to get here, where Seaworthy allows you to get Factory and also move off of this farm onto relevant squares after you get all your four of your enlists out. <clears throat> Past that, not too much more to say about Norris. They're a faction I personally like, but it is very difficult and unforgiving. If you screw up a Nord build, odds are you're out of the game entirely, whereas if you screw up a Crimea build or a Rusfade build, you're still in it. Um, not too much more to say from there. We really covered all the bases. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys take these principles into your games, and have a nice day.